All right, everybody. Today we are here looking at the Accessory House Global DN1 Pro Dash A Dash XL carrying case. Now the only difference between this case and our DN1 Pro Dash A case is simply the height. There are quite a few headphones that are getting a little bit tall, a little bit thick, such as the Beoplay H4, the Beoplay H9. They're getting a little bit high, and the DN1 Pro is not in Dash A is not the best fit ever so we made a new one slightly thicker sorry sli slightly thicker that uh, will um, hold them better so we're gonna start with the outside of the case uh, everything here is pretty much the same as the DM1 Pro A but I'll go through it anyways We've got two zipper tabs on a water resistant zipper with our blue stitching there are three strong nylon loops with a metal loop on the end and the Grip Tech outer liner, nice and grippy, kind of like a basketball. And you can see the zipper is easy to open despite having that, uh, the, despite having the uh, water resistant zipper. All right, we're moving on to the inside of the DN1 Pro Dash A Dash XL carrying case. We have blue lycra lining the inside of the main top half and bottom half of the case. There's also a half centimeter of um, foam underneath the top half here and that allows you to have a nice soft cushion that uh, if for any reason your headphones were a bit high or even touched into the top half it would just be into the foam so there's no damage and also because it will shape around the headphone it helps it stay put and rather than move left and right up and down etc. The inner mold is removable it has a headband headband mold at the top. That's going to help keep the headband, the headphones from moving up and down. It has the divider at the bottom. That helps separate the uh, headphones, uh, earphones from actually knocking into each other when, they're, when you're in movement and keeps them stable as well. And then we also have a little bit of Velcro here and that's for the accessory bag which will attach in like that, fit in between the actual headphones. And the actual accessory bag itself is a nice nylon bag. It has some elastic bands on the top. That's for storing some cables or anything else you can underneath there. You can actually fit like maybe a audio player or something like that. I don't think an iPhone is going to fit, but if your phone is fairly small, it might fit. On the inside, we have a shoulder strap, which will attach to our loops on the outside of the case. We have a carabiner, which is designed to attach to the top loop of the case in case you want to attach it to some other uh, piece of luggage or a backpack and then there's a microfiber cloth just for wiping your headphones whenever they might get dirty and now we're going to take a look at what do headphones look like inside of here so we're going to try the Beoplay H4s these are quite tall or quite high and obviously, depending on the headphones you have, you'll have to adjust the arms a bit. We might adjust this one a bit, and that one a bit there. And we have a nice fit, like so. And then the good thing is, it closes, no problem, and there's no pressure. The DM1 Pro A had a little bit of pressure on it, um, even though it went into the foam I didn't recommend it for people to buy some people have bought it for the H9s and they were very happy with it but it all comes down to personal preference so I figured it was a better idea to offer a slightly larger case in case people would prefer to have a little bit more space and here are H9s as well fitting in perfectly and the H9s and the H4 are the exact same height one thing to keep in mind Bale or Bang and Olufsen list the H9s as being the same height as the H7s, and they're not. They're taller. Uh, they're taller by maybe three or four millimeters, maybe a little bit less than that, but it's just enough to make that DM1 Pro A carrying case a little bit too tight on this one and also on the uh, H4s. So if you have any questions about this case or any other headphones that might fit in it, uh, some other popular headphones that, that do fit in here that are a little bit better than on the DM1 Pro A are the Sony MDR-A-1 RBTs. Those are quite big. 
and uh, also the, the MDR1A-DACs, those are also quite thick as well. So um, check the Amazon listing or eBay listing and you'll see the other headphones that are probably more ideal for this case. If you have any questions about anything about this case or any other product, please contact us at accessoryhouse at btinternet.com. Thank you.